Yeah, so this is Miss Collins, Jacob Wells' mom. Now, we came here before. We came here in December, no, November. And in November, I showed you guys this apartment. So, I'm here to show you guys where they currently are. This apartment for me and my son, Jacob. You see this? Same position, same place, same place, same door leaning against the wall. Remember when I came here with the Tenure Association President, Miss Clifton? Okay, remember when I made that video of us standing out here talking to this lady or something or another? And we were telling that lady that they're making, they're creating this, this apartment for me and my son Jacob because of the mold issue at our other location. Well, look. All right, thank you. Yeah. So, this is, this is where they are. This is where they are. Nowhere. So we came here before Thanksgiving, okay? We came here, me and the Tenant Association President, we came here before Thanksgiving, and I'm here now by myself. Miss Collins. So in terms of me being okay and my son Jacob being okay? No. No, we're not okay. You guys are a bunch of bullies. You political people, people are in office, you're a bunch of bullies. And you're liars too. I would never believe you ever again. You don't care, I would never believe you, ever. Because what I see, and what I hear is two different things, okay? What I see, oh, you'll be done in December. We'll be done in December. We'll be done in November. We'll be done. No, you're not. This is just a matter of putting up walls, sheet rocks, walls. That's it. That's it. Okay? Miss Collins, we're giving you a new apartment. Can you give me new lungs? Can you give my son, Jacob, new lungs? Can you give us new respiratory? Can you restore our respiratory? No, you cannot. So basically, what you are giving me is what you should have given me from the very beginning. From 2041 Pacific Street to whenever, you should have given me from the very beginning, from the time that my son reached out to you, elected officials, from the time that um, we went to court New York City Housing Authority, from the very beginning, had you have done what you're supposed to have done, in the very beginning, we wouldn't be here, okay? We wouldn't be here. Now, have I been forthcoming with you, New York City Housing Authority? Yes, I have. In regards to the Boaz case, with that settlement, the mole settlement, I know all about it, because my attorneys, my attorneys told me about it. Two different law firms, they told me about it. We know. Okay, do I have photos of this mole infestation that you threw me in? This mole inferno? Of course I do. I come home from work. Okay? I go to work and I do what I have to do just to make sure you guys are okay for your Christmas. Okay? Just to make sure you guys are okay for your Christmas. Okay? Just to make sure. I put it in. I take one for the team over and over again. Okay, not only there, but here. And this is how you show your thanks to me. This is how you show your thanks to my son who's military. You're a bunch of hypocrites, you elected officials. You're hypocrites and you're a liar. And if you're not, then put the pedal to the metal. Practice what you preach, okay? Practice what you preach. If not for everybody, how about for just one person? Okay? As far as I'm concerned, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves going here, going there, laughing and, and hooting and hollering and drinking this and that and making merry. Meanwhile, me and my son is in mold. One nebulizer to the next. One nosebleed to the next. And all you could have done was make a difference if not for everyone but for one person, one person 
who could have shared her experience or their experience in terms of what they went through, giving hope to all other NYCHA residents that there is, you know, there is someone who cares out there because something is getting done, something has been done. But no, you're living up to your, you're living up to your name. You're living up to everything that the social media said about you, you'll see how I'm going You're living up to it. Oh, you've gotten this, you've gotten that. I've gotten this, I've gotten that. Yeah, okay. After having to nearly die, so you gotta be near death to get anything, right? Basically, you gotta be near death. It's one apartment, just one. And it's not like you don't have apartments available. It's not like, and then in, in addition to that, you didn't even offer me a hospitality unit like you were supposed to on every, <clears throat> on every instance, on every situation and circumstance. Never offered me on my son Jacob a hospitality unit. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. So another year of living in mold. Another year of living in mold. Mold, mold, mold. Another year of screwing up my Thanksgiving, screwing up my Christmas. Last thing you need to do is ask Miss Collins, so what are you gonna do? I think whoever asked all those other individuals who showed you what they're working with did. You don't wanna ask me that. You don't wanna ask me that. You just wanna make your wrong a right. That's all you wanna do. That's all I suggest you do. Because yes, I know about that Boaz case. Like I said, the Boaz settlement with the mole, I know all about that. Management office is all the way down there, right at the top. All the way down there, right there. Okay. So the property manager comes from down there. The prior property manager, Miss Carolyn Gibbs, she left from there. Not her assistant, Fable. The one who does not do anything. The property manager, the prior property manager left from there, walked all the way down here, and went in. And went in. She went into the apartment. That's what she did. She went, went into the apartment, but your current property manager, the person who took the spot from her, the person who snuck the spot from her, yes, she did. That fable woman, crooked as ever. Made it appear as though this property manager, made it appear as though the property manager wasn't doing her job. But she was, she was doing her job. She was doing her job. When residents would go to that assistant manager and report mold situations and so forth and so on, did that assistant manager go to the property manager and tell her? No, she did not. Okay, not at all. She did nothing. She did nothing. Absolutely nothing until the situation got worse. And there are many people like her. So she made the, she made the prior property manager, Miss Carolyn Gibbs, look bad. Look bad. I mean, I've been to residents' homes when I said to them, did you reach out to the assistant manager, Miss Faber? They said, yes, look at my emails. Look at the emails and look at the photos that I attached to it. Okay, when we went in to speak to the property manager, Miss Carolyn Gibbs, and we showed her, Miss Carolyn Gibbs said, I knew nothing about this. Nothing. Yes. So now, this assistant manager, Fable, made Miss Carolyn Gibbs look bad. Made her look bad. Took every effort, every strength in her to make the prior property manager, Mrs. Carolyn Gibbs, look bad. Only for her to take Miss Carolyn Gibbs' position and sit there and do nothing. Not once did she ever leave. I come and say, Ms. Collins, are you okay? I heard about the situation. I know about the situation. Don't worry, we'll talk. Just, just hold on, hang on. Don't worry, Ms. Collins, we'll, we'll talk. Nothing, nothing. All of those other videos that I showed about those homebound people, still didn't get their intercom, still didn't get nothing. Still didn't get nothing, false promises. I'm so angry, I'm more angry than you know. The anger that I have, 
much dangerous. It's not. It's not healthy. It's not a healthy angle. Yes. So um. You want to push? I can push. There's more of us not your residents than there are of you. It only takes one person to set the stage. It only takes one person to get things up and rolling. It only takes one person, right? I am Harriet Tubman. I am Rosa Parks. I am Shirley Chisholm. It only takes one person, okay? Mock me if you choose. Try me if you will. And I'm gonna show you. All I'm asking for is what I'm entitled to. And that is an apartment with no mold, no mildew, and no asbestos. And you've infringed upon my rights. You infringed upon my entitlement constantly. Infringement. You infringed. You think. You think you can bully on people. I'm going to show you who your bullies are. We're going to show you. I'm going to show you. If it's not me, it's going to be somebody. If it's not me, it's going to be someone. Someone is going to take you down. One by one. And I just hope I'm there to see it.